Hello and welcome everyone. Today's class we will learn status bar toggle keys and drafting settings in details. So let's start with today's topic. We have status bar toggles right here. The status bar toggles help us to making precise drawing in AutoCAD. Here we have some keys are open which is see in blue color and some of them are off. If you on or off any button you can just single click on that button. On status bar we have a first option coordinate point. You can see whenever I move cursor this point changes. The change shows us actual coordinate point of a cursor. Next point is shows your page type that means this one is your model page or layout page. Also it will help for switch between model space to paper or layout page. For, for that I just click on that model button it will switch me into layout page. Next button is grid mode. This one is for on and off the grid. You can see our grid is on. If I want to off this grid, I just single click on this grid mode. For this, you can use the F7 function key also. Next button is snap mode. To control the grid spacing, we will use this toggle key. So to activate this snap mode, I will just click on this toggle key or, or else you can press F9 function key. Now click on this downward arrow and go to snap settings. This opens the drafting setting dialog box. In that we focus on the snap and grid tab. You can toggle on and off the snap mode and grid mode here also by clicking this box. By default the snap spacing is half field for both x and y direction and also grid spacing is also same. Now I want green line after every one unit so I will change it one unit in both the x and y axis and I also like to set up the grids so there is a major line every 10 units. So over here this one is your major line and this one is your minor lines. Now I am going to check the adaptive grid so that your grid density is limited when you zoom out and now allow subdivision is unchecked so that grid will not subdivide smaller than one unit then make sure that your grid snap and rectangular snap will be on and then go to ok so now we looking at a grid every major line is after the 10 units so each little box inside the grid will must be a square of one unit and if you zoom in, you can see the grid is not subdivided. Let's go ahead and draw a line and as I am using a cursor, you can notice that what happening. The cursor is jumping because of this snap mode. The cursor is snapping to every half unit. Now I just draw a line relying on this grid mode. This one is helpful while making a design on window grid. So here we don't use ortho and not using the object snap and here is your design of window grill. Now if I toggle off the snap mode then cursor moves smoothly and you can draw a line at any arbitrary point. Next toggle key is dynamic input. Now if I want a line for that I just left click on this icon. Now see right next to the cursor you see a tooltips this is called as dynamic input if you don't have this you can bring it by pressing f12 function key otherwise click on this toggle key in status bar now in this case i will don't use it i just press f12 function key or just press on this toggle key so it will be disappear now we have this empty cursor if you don't have that kind of feature on your status bar then go to customization this dash line and activate dynamic input so this will be checked if it is checked the dynamic input will be show on here and then you can activate once activate you can have it like this now click at a point and at this time you have a length as well as angle and you can directly typing the values so in this case maybe make a line of 15 so i will type as a 15 and i will press a tab key now the length will be locked and you will add the angle values let i will give it as a 45 and press enter so it will provide a visual reference for drawing so it will be pretty handy to use it for the making drawing now again 
I will give it as a 10 and now this angle will be a 30 and press enter key and so on to exit this once again press enter now for our next drawing I will take line command I give a first point and then next point but here I want a straight horizontal line of 90 degree angle so you can force your line to 90 degree angle or multiple of 90 degree using this tool this one is ortho mode if you select this AutoCAD will only let you make the drawing at multiple of 90 degrees. Now if I click here I will be able to make the line here horizontal or vertical. I can't able to make the line in any other direction. So look at here I still end with line with horizontal or vertical just because of this ortho mode. And you can use F8 function key to on or off the ortho mode. Now let's start making one more drawing using line tool for that click on this icon as instruction says we need to start from the first point for that i will click here and now i will move my cursor to the right when you do that AutoCAD shows you a tool tip on which you can see an approximate length of the line here it is 22 unit so it's very long i will make it at a 10 unit for that 10 press enter and we have a line of length in units now i make a vertical line for that i will move my cursor on top side and we have this green tracking vector which indicate that its line is perfectly vertical and i type 5 and enter and we have a second line of 5 units and now go to the left side or any other direction which you want typing the value for example maybe 8 and enter and you can even align it at any direction if you want so I'm going to align it at here. I type it as a 12 and enter and so on. So you keep on making your line by entering a proper distance and it will just make your line that way. Also in that case if you want to add angle value you can do it pretty easy. So in this case make another line of length 7 unit and enter. Now from here I want it inclined at an angle of exactly 30 degree. So instead of typing 30, I'm going to type this angle sign. This angle sign is on your keyboard. It's right next to the M key. Just press and hold shift key and then press this angle key. Now type as a 30 and press enter. And now AutoCAD take this value as angle, not a distance. So if you move your cursor, now you're going to see angle over right here, which is is set now 30 degree so if you move your cursor the length will changes but not the angle so all you need to do now typing the length so i will type here it as a 5 and press enter and here it is so now length of this line is 5 and it is inclined to the angle of 30 degree with respect to the positive side of the x-axis now exit the command press enter key and this was a line tool now in this case i specify the angle right here using the line command but there is an another option that can help you to pretty easily as well so for this go to the line tool and now in status bar we have and one option as polar tracking which help you to specify any angle that you want so i'm going here and now i'm click on this downward arrow which is right next to the polar tracking mode and angle currently set as a 90 degree i will select it as a 30 degrees and 30 degree multiples so 30 60 90 and so on now i click at a point and i move my cursor to the right and you can see that this green line at an angle of zero degree now if i move it at any direction it will show the green tracking line and the interval of 30 degrees so we have it as a 30 then 60 then 90 then 120 and so on so this is also help you to drawing line at any particular angle so here also your line is kind of locked to 60 degree so all you want to just type the length i will enter it as a 10 and enter also if you want angle other than this multiple you can click on this downward arrow then click on tracking setting and here in polar tracking tab you can change the incremental angle and their multiples here i want it as a 25 so i will enter it at 25 now click on ok now go to take line command and i will give a first point and now i will move my cursor towards right and we can observe that the green tracking line it will show us as a 25 
and multiple of 25 so 25 50 75 and so on it's pretty easy so return back to normal i will off this tracking mode or go to 90 degree multiples now if you select the angle make sure it will be active so this is active as you can see here is it in blue color but if you click it again it will be deactivated like this so make sure it is active if you want to use it and you can do or deactivate this polar tracking with the help of f10 function key next key is activate isometric snap that means it align with 30 degree angle than our rectangular snap which will help us to draw a isometric drawing so if i click on this it will be on isometric snap you can see here our cursor will changes here I will make one cube of size 10 by 10 by 10. So remember that whenever you draw something in isometric snap, your ortho mode should be on. So see here, we can see here right side, left side and top side of this cube. Now if we again deactivate this isometric snap, it will go to rectangular snap. Now I draw some lines, circles and rectangle here. And if I select a line, you can see here some blue color points are there. Same like that if I select the circle, if I select the rectangle. This point are known as snap point which will help to control the object. If I click on the line and their end point, if I move the cursor, it will increase or decrease the length of this line. Or if I click on the middle point and move the cursor, it will move the line. In short, this point will help to control the line. Same things are done in other drawings also. This quadrant point will increase or decrease the radius of this circle. Or this center point is help to move the circle. Now, I want to draw another circle with the same center point of this circle. So, I will click on the circle. As command window says, I want to give center point. So, I think this one is center point of the previous circle. So, I will click on this point because I want both the circle of the same center point and then click at another point. So, here we make a two circle with same center point. Let's check if they have a same center point. For that, I will select both the circles and if I zoom in and you can see here they both have a different center point. So, to avoid this problem, we will use the object snap mode. For that, I activate object snap mode in status bar or I will use the F3 function key. Now, again, I want another circle which has the same center point of this circle. So, I will take a circle command and I just move my cursor near to the center point of this previous circle. And here you got a plus sign which indicates the center point of this circle. So, I click on this point and then I give a next point and done. Now we check. So we see that the both circle has a same center point. Same like that if I want to draw a one line with the first point of this end point of this rectangle. So click on this line and the first point of this line should be the end point of this rectangle. So click on here. Then I will give a second point as a center point of this circle. Third point should be the quadrant point of this circle and so on. If you unable to decide that which one is the end point, which one is the quadrant point, nearest point and etc. So in that case you can stay your cursor near to the point for some time. Then AutoCAD itself show their name like here shows this one is end point. If I take cursor over here it will show me this one is a geometric center. If I take my cursor over here it will show me this one is a quadrant point. Otherwise you can just click on this downward arrow which is near to the object snap then object snap settings then you got a one dialog box as a drafting setting in that you select on object snap tab and here you can see a number of snap point with their symbol so you can easily determine the snap point so you can easily determine that the square represent the end point the triangle represent the midpoint and so on but whenever you use the object snap make sure that this all point should be selected otherwise select Select on, select all and then select as a ok. Now we move towards next toggle key that is object snap tracking which is used to track the snap point of object. Let's see by example if I have two circle like that and I want to draw one another circle at the intersecting point of the both the circles. For that I first activate object snap tracking 
by clicking on this toggle key or press F11 function key. Then I click on the circle. Next, go to the center point of this circle and just move the cursor. Now next, go to the center point of the another circle and just smoothly move your line. And here we got the intersecting point of both the center point. So click at here and give another point. Now we check this by draw some lines. I draw one line from the center point of this circle. Same I draw another line from the center point of this circle. And here we got the same center point which is the intersecting point of these two lines. So this is the use of object snap tracking. So up to this, these are very important toggle keys or drafting setting for making any drawing in AutoCAD. And all the setting of these toggle keys are done by using drafting settings. For that, use ds command. So I will type in command window ds command and press enter. So I got one dialog box as a drafting setting. And here you can see here is one snap and grid tab. Second one is polar tracking tab. Third one is object snap tab. In snap and grid mode, as we see earlier, you can adjust the setting of snap mode, you can adjust the setting of grid mode, also you can adjust the spacing of grid or you can switch between snap like in rectangular snap or isometric snap. Now next one is polar tracking tab. In that you can add the incremental angle. Also if you want extra angle, you can add this one here. So for that I will click on new and enter your extra angle like I want 25 so enter 25. And next one is object snap. So from here also you can activate or deactivate your object snap and object snap tracking mode. Next one is 3D object snap which one used in 3D drawing. Next one is dynamic input tab. And after this setting you can select on OK. Next tab is line display and transparency. The both things we are learn in property tab. Next one is 3D object snap which is used in 3D drawing or 3D modeling. Now next tab you have that is workspace switching. From this point, you can also change your workspace to the 3D basic or 3D modeling. As we are working in 2D, so we have workspace as drafting and annotation. Next one is unit and you can change your unit here also. By clicking on this down arrow, you can select your unit. If you select on any object and you want to see the property of this object, you can just click on this quick access property. So whichever object you are selected, the property of this object shown here. Now this quick property is on. So if I selected this line, it will show me the property of this line. So this is all about the status bar and drafting settings. If, if in your system anything missing, then you can click on this customization tool. and check the things which you want. So this all about the status bar and their drafting settings. Now at the end in short we see all the status bar toggle keys and their function keys. The first function key is F3 which is used for object snap and object snap is used for find out the snap point of any object. Next function key is F4 which is used for 3D object snap and 3D object snap used in 3D drawing. Next function key is F5 which is used in isometric plane for switch between left side, right side or right side to top side or anyone. Another function key is F6 which is used for dynamic UCS. Next one is F7 function key for on or off the grid mode. With the help of this grid mode, we can on or off our grid. Next function key is F8 which is used for activate or deactivate the ortho mode. And with the help of ortho mode, we can draw a straight horizontal or vertical lines. Next function key is F9 which is used for on or off the snap mode. Next function key is F10 which is used for polar tracking which will help to draw a aligned angle with multiple of this angle. Next function key is F11 which is used for on or off the object snap tracking. And finally the last key is F12 which is used for on or off the dynamic input. Dynamic input is nothing but the tooltip which guide us to draw our drawing. So that's all about the this topic. Thank you.